flu cases are on the rise and by flu i don't mean the common term used for cold and cough by flu cases i mean cases of influenza uh, the infections caused by the influenza virus now what are the symptoms of influenza they are like any other viral but they are more severe usually it presents with very high fevers in children i am seeing fevers which are not even going down below 1 not 2 for some of them fevers are going as high as 105 so very high fevers headache chills feeling of weakness cough cold Difficulty in breathing, nausea, vomiting, abdomen pain, not able to eat much, muscle pains, fatigue. These are the common symptoms of influenza. Uh, now, influenza can be diagnosed by a test. It is a nasopharyngeal swab, like how it is done for uh, COVID. It is done in a similar manner. And the good news is that there is a medicine for flu. Uh, influenza so if your child is suspected to have influenza then your pediatrician may ask for the test or sometimes based on the current situation with such a high number of influenza cases we are seeing suddenly uh, many of the pediatricians on clinical suspicion are starting the medicine and meanwhile we wait for the test result some children if they are not eating at all if they are developing pneumonia due to influenza breathing difficulty they are going on vomiting they are very very dull and lethargic they are needing hospitalization uh, in fact in the last two three weeks all the children i have hospitalized with pneumonia 90 percent have turned out to be influenza positive other viruses and bacteria are really not causing that kind of sickness but the again the good part is that with treatment with fluids nebulization oxygen flu medicine most of them are recovering within two three days only and almost all have had a complete recovery so that is the good part but if your child is having these symptoms and is looking very sick not eating any breathing issue please don't delay please take to the hospital as soon as possible there is also a vaccination against influenza which is the flu vaccine so those children who have received the flu vaccine in the last one year are either not getting it or having very mild symptoms or getting better in just two three days otherwise influenza symptoms last usually for five to seven days the cough may last up to two to three weeks also and the weakness and fatigue may be there up to one to two weeks so once your child recovers don't be in a hurry to send to school let her or him be at home and rest There's a lot of weakness sometimes post flu so if your child is not feeling up to it don't be in a hurry to uh, sent to school uh, most of the cases are contagious up to one week after the onset of symptoms so for one week keep the child in isolation other family members should wear a mask around the child and uh, if the others have been exposed then the flu medicine can be given to them also as prophylaxis please consult your doctor regarding that and looking at the current situation i would strongly recommend please give your children yearly flu vaccine uh, so many kids are falling ill because of flu and some of them are so sick which could have been easily prevented by this flu vaccine which is very safe. Uh, so now but if you go for flu vaccine keep in mind that the effect of the vaccine will take two to four weeks. At least two weeks for the protection of the vaccine to set in. So think about it if you want to go for the vaccine now or before the next flu season.